Hi, I'm Patrick from Just Got Played. We're in the middle of our U.S. tour, and we are in, I have absolutely no idea, what city am I in? We're well, in uh, Sandy, Utah, which is the southern end of the Salt Lake Valley metro area. Specifically, where am I? Uh, we're off the corner of 106 South and 1300 East. At? At Mystic Hobby Games. Mystic Hobby Games. This store is really great. If you ever have the chance to be in the area, please stop by Mystic Hobby Games. They've got a very large, I'm looking out over a very vast board gaming area, so you can come in and sit down with your friends. Lots of room for you to play. They've got a good game library. Library, I say library a lot on the show. Library, in fact, how many games are in the library? Uh, at least 50. We're actually adding weekly. Uh, we're actually taking advantage of our distributors, and all of our guys are bringing in and recommending new games weekly. So mm, Taking advantage of your distributors. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like that idea. So, yeah, we get a you new film game. film that? Any of that? You film any of that? Is that uh, on the no, no, I don't feel bad at all. By mid midnight, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's the after party. That's, this place closed at midnight, so that's after that. Um, so... Mystic Hobby Games. How long have we been here? Uh, this is three weeks in this location, but three years in Sandy. And we actually got to start as Mystic Hobby Resins. Uh, tell me a little bit about Mystic Hobby Resins. Uh, Mystic Hobby Resins, we got started out, we were doing resin casting for miniature wargaming. So we actually did pre-textured bases. Um, as part of this, we're actually looking to relaunch that here within the year, because we're actually stable as both the game store and being able to offer additional service to our customers by well, growing. How many butts can fit in the seats in here? Anywhere between 40 and 60, depending on how tight we actually want to squeeze up the elbow room. And obviously we have all this gaming area because we do some events. What are the events are you guys are doing that kind of bring the community together for tabletop? Wow. Um, Tom, start with the ones you judge. The ones that I judge alone, um, that would be uh, Force of Will, Magic the Gathering, uh, Star Wars, X-Wing, Star Trek Attack Wing, um, Love Star Trek Warhammer, Attack Wing. <laughs> not Warhammer, sorry, War Machine, and Hordes are ones I'm picking up into my judged list. Um, and then we've got our board game stuff that we do Sundays and Tuesdays. Somewhere in that neighborhood. And then Cat judges. I run Yu-Gi-Oh! I am an official Pokemon TO and professor. Um... I am a judge for Y Schwartz, which is an anime card game. Um, we had luck and logic until Bushiro decided to cancel it. Um, yeah, one of the downsides. Guys, great game. If you get a chance, we're still bringing it in Japanese. Yes, yes. Um, and pretty much I pinch hit for almost every game in the store. Um, also, Dungeons and Dragons. I do DM that. And I get to make sure everybody has the product. I'm the buyer for the store. So, and you do... How many events like per week would you say, or per day, or break uh, that down? Three, anywhere between two to three per day, and that's anything from an open two to uh, three a day. Two to three a day. So on any given day, we have one to two open leagues that they come in, play, participate. They get promos, uh, goodies, so on and so forth. So we try to stay active with all of the distributors and the manufacturers for those. Uh, the other thing we do is uh, weekends. We're usually running between five to seven events, depending on pre-release, release events. Uh, sneak peeks. Um, we actually have one of the largest role play communities in Utah. We do uh, three, three to four tables on Wednesday, uh, up to three tables on Fridays, and our Pathfinder Society groups are growing too. So we're doing at least one table on Tuesdays and have new DMs requesting table space as we, as we now have it. So. You mentioned Dungeons and Dragons, which obviously still has a pretty good following. What kind of stuff do you guys, other than for the events that you throw, because obviously you're supporting those events, but other than the events you throw, what kind of games are hitting these tables where people coming in, buying, sitting down? What are you seeing more and more of here in Salt Lake, the Salt Lake area? Um, collectible card games in general are very popular. Um, we see a very even spread um, across uh, the big three, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Um, but we also see a fairly even spread among the lesser known ones like um, Weiss Schwartz and uh, Force of Will, 
and uh, some of the ones that are slowly gaining momentum in the market. I don't know if I'd call Force of Will a the small one. popular one. No, it's, no it's definitely topping out. <laughs> it's top five in the world right now. But yeah. why Schwartz is not, and I hadn't heard of it before I came right here. So can you tell me a little bit about why Schwartz? Okay, so why Schwartz is a collectible card game where they actually have screenshots from your favorite anime, and the cards have much like any other collectible card game, they have abilities, they have effects, um, but unlike, say, Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, where each new set maybe has a slightly different theme, but is still the same characters that we all know and love with the Planeswalkers, with Weiss, each new set's a new anime. So right now, for example, some great names in the game are Sword Art Online, Attack on Titan, Fairy Tale, Madoka Magica, all names that most anime nerds know. She's not talking about you, David. David's my brother, <laughs> and he's he's very into anime, but he's he's, he's you're not a nerd, Dave. Oh, sorry. Kind of geeky, but you're not a nerd. Okay, hey, so, so I we, own we it get and a, love it. So we bribe him for extra time by giving you decks for him, right? <laughs> Why? You guys don't need to bribe me for extra time. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, so before we go. These are the faces of Mr. Kavi. I want to hear everyone introduce themselves. And tell me your favorite game, too. Oh, my favorite game. Um, I'm the Miniatures Wargamer, so it was uh, Battlefleet Gothic. And my name is Jason Nelson. Um, I'm Kat Nelson. I'm director of Organized Play. And my favorite... Uh, I have a hard time picking a favorite, but currently... You won't get a my favorite top, out of her. My current top game is actually uh, Crossmaster Arena. I really enjoy that game. You two share the same names. I mean, cats off the market. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm holding on to her. Ten. Yes. Okay. It's, okay. It's, it's cats not, off the market. Yeah. You guys don't come no, in here. Ten years this November. <laughs> oh, ten years. Ten years. Well, you've been married since you were five. Ah, uh, you're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Tom Mall. Everybody just knows me up here as Poof. Um, I come from a TCG background. Probably the top game right now, and mine is Force of Will. For uh, the one of the top games in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I am Patrick. We are at Mystic Games and Hobbies. Thank you very much for watching Just Got Played, U.S. Tour. Oh, yeah.